dear friends today i am explaining some selected multiple choice questions that is the mcqs based on the swami ramananda tirth marathwada university nanded for class bsc second year semester 4 पेपर नंबर नाइन फिजिकल एंड इन अर्निंग केमिस्ट्री सेक्शन ए फिजिकल केमिस्ट्री क्वेश्चन बैंक और ए मॉडल एमसीक्यू क्वेश्चंस टू फेस द एग्जामिनेशन मल्टीपल चॉइस टाइप ऑफ एग्जामिनेशंस फ्रॉम दिस सिलेबस आई एम एक्सप्लेनिंग एमसीक्यूज ऑन यूनिट फोर From the paper number nine on photochemist. First MCQ. That is, which statement about the photochemical reaction is true? In the options, there are different statements are given. We have to decide the which statement about. Photochemical reaction is correct one or the true one. Option A: The presence of light is the primary requirement for reactions to take place. For the photochemical reactions, presence of light is a primary requirement. It is necessary, and hence the option A is correct one. Then option B. Temperature has very little effect on the rate of photochemical reactions. In the photochemical reactions, temperature has very little effect. It is the true one for the photochemical reaction. Hence, the option B is also correct one or the true one. Option three, option C, that is the delta G change in free energy for photochemical reactions is spontaneous reactions. Delta G for photochemical spontaneous reactions may be positive or negative. This is also correct for the photochemical reactions, and hence the for the first question, option D is correct one. That is the all the above is a correct option. The next option, this next multiple choice question, the statement. it is only the absorbed light radiations that are effective in producing a chemical reaction is of option a grothus draper law option b lambert bees law option c lambert's law option d stark and stein's law amongst of these options option a is correct one whatever the statement which is given in the MCQ, that is the multiple choice question. That is the statement of Grothus-Draper law. In the Grothus-Draper law, it is made clear that only that radiations are absorbed for the photochemical reactions, which are effective in producing the chemical change or the chemical reaction. That is the statement of the Grothus-Draper law, and hence the option A is a correct option for that MCQ. Next MCQ. in a photochemical reaction each molecule of the reacting substance absorb a single photon of radiation causing the reaction and is activated to form the product this is the statement of dash dash option a lambert bees law option b stark einstein's law option c grothus draper law option d lambert's law option b is correct one that is the stark einstein's law in this statement it is made very clear that each molecule of the reacting substance absorb a single photon means what ratio is 1 is to 1 means after absorption of one photon of light radiation a single molecule gets reacted or the decomposed this ratio of 1 is to 1 is explained 
in the Stark Einstein's law. Stark Einstein's law is also called the Stark Einstein's law of photochemical equivalence. Means the statement which is given in the MCQ that is a statement of Stark Einstein's law, and hence the option B is correct one. Then next question that is the number of molecules reacted or formed per photon of light absorbed is called digestion. Option A, yield of the reaction. Option B, quantum efficiency. Option C, quantum productivity. Option D, quantum yield. Quantum yield is a correct option for the question. Why it is so? Number of molecules reacted per photon, it is a ratio for the quantum yield phi. Phi is equal to number of molecules reacted or decomposed upon number of photons absorbed in the given time. That is nothing but the quantum yield phi. And hence the option D is correct one. In photochemical reactions, low quantum yield is obtained due to dash dash. Means in the photochemical reactions, which are the different factors or the different properties of the reacting or the different parameters which are responsible, responsible for the low quantum yield, that we have to decide with the help of given options. In photochemical reactions, low quantum yield is obtained due to dash dash. We have to find out the correct option. Occurrence of option A, occurrence of a reverse primary reaction. Yes, it is also a one of the cause of the reason behind the low quantum yield. Whenever in the primary reaction, a reverse reaction is occurred, then the quantum yield gets decreased. It, hence, option A is also a reason for the con low quantum yield. Option B, deactivation of reacting molecules. Whenever reacting molecules gets deactivated, then the further reaction cannot be proceeded. And hence, deactivation of reacting molecules is also one of the reason or the cause behind the low quantum yield. And hence, the option B is also a reason for the low quantum yield. Option C, recombination of dissociated fragments. These dissociated fragments, whenever recombine with each other, then there is also decrease of quantum yield. Hence, it is also one of the reason for the quantum yield. So, the option D, that is the all of these, is a correct option here. Next question. A species which can both absorb and transfer radiant energy for activation of the reactant molecules is called a dash. Option A, a photosensitizer. Option B, an ionizer. Option C, a photochemical substance. Option D, radioactive substance. Amongst of these, option A is correct one. That is the species which is absorbing the light radiations and transferring to the reactant, reacting species, that species is called the photosensitizer. What does it mean? There are some photochemical reactions in which the reactants are unable to absorb the light radiations for the reaction. In such a cases, there are some species which are intention, intentionally used there to absorb the light radiations. That species absorb the light radiations and then it transfer the light energy to the reacting species to, and activate them for the further reaction. Means such a species is absorbing and transferring the radiant energy to the reacting species. These species are called the photosensitizer and hence the option A is a correct option. Next question. The substance that when exposed to light radiations of shorter wavelength, emit light of longer wavelength are called dash dash. Option A, fluorescent substances. Option B, phosphorescent substances. 
ऑप्शन सी फोटोसेंसिटाइज सब्सटेंसेस ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज अमंगस्ट ऑफ दीज ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट फॉर द क्वेश्चन हट डज इट मीन फ्लोरोसेंट सब्सटेंसेस आर द सच सब्सटेंसेस ऑन व्हिच व्हेनेवर द लाइट इज इंसिडेंटेड और व्हेनेवर दिस सब्सटेंस आर एक्सपोज्ड टू द लाइट देन व्हाट हैपेंस दे इमिट लाइट रेडिएशंस ऑफ अ लॉन्गर वेवलेंथ दिस इफेक्ट इज ऑब्जर्वड इन टू द फ्लोरोसेंट सब्सटेंसेस एंड हेंस द ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट and this effect is possible only when the light is on when the light is cut off then fluorescent substances can't emit the light radiations with the longer wavelength means it is a property of the pheno or the phenomenon which is observed during the incidence of light only whenever light is falling continuously on the substance then that substance radiate the energy of the longer wavelength then that of whenever it is absorbing the light energy of the shorter wavelength but it is radiating the energy of the longer wavelength this phenomenon is called the fluorescent substances that substances are, substances are called the fluorescent substances which shows this phenomenon or next mcq organic dyes like eosin chlorophyll etc shows dash dash in the visible or uv region a option a phosphorescence option b fluorescence option c chemiluminescence option d none of these option b is correct here it is so because the eosin or the chlorophylls shows the phosphorescence in presence of the visible or uv region of the light radiations then i am explaining some selected mcqs on chemical kinetics also from unit 1 which factors affect the rate of chemical reaction among stop a b c and d options we have to find out the correct option that is the which factors are affecting the chemical reaction option a temperature pressure and humidity this is not the correct one mean the humidity is in present with it option b reactant concentration temperature and catalyst these are the all the three properties that is the concentration is creating the effect on rate constant temperature is also changing the rate constant and catalyst is increasing the rate of constant or it may be decreasing means these are the factors which are affecting the rate of a reaction option c temperature reactant concentration and size of container this is not suitable one option d temperature product concentration and container hollow this is also not suitable option and hence the option b is the correct option for the question being the rate of being the rate of reaction of a rate of chemical reaction is affected by the concentration temperature and catalyst then next mcq for the first order reactions the rate constant k has the unit dash dash option a liter per mole option b time mole per liter option c mole upon liter bracket is to minus 1 per time d per time d, option d is correct one for the first order reactions the unit of rate constant for the first order reaction is per time that is option d is correct next mcq what is the reason behind most chemical reaction rates increase increases rapidly as the temperature rises what is the reason behind it why the rate of chemical reactions increases on increasing the temperature we have to find out the appropriate option among stop a b c d option a the breaking of molecules with kinetic energy greater than the 
activation energy increases rapidly with the temperature. This is the correct option. Option B, the average kinetic energy increases as temperature rises. This is not correct one. The activation energy decreases as temperature arises. None of the above. Ne uh, next option. Option A is more suitable. That is the breaking of molecules with kinetic energy greater than the activation energy increases rapidly with the temperature. This is the correct option. A reaction next MCQ. A reaction in which all reactants are in the same phase is called dash dash. Option A elementary. Option B bimolecular. Option C heterogeneous. Option D homogeneous. Option D is correct one. It is a homogeneous. Reaction in which all the reactants are present in the same phase, then that such. Reaction is called homogeneous reaction. Next MCQ. Why is a minimum energy needed for an effective collision? Option A. Energy is needed to orient the particles correctly. B. Energy is needed to break bonds. C. A minimum energy is needed so that the particles will collide many times per second. D. Enough energy is needed to give off heat in a reaction. Option B is correct one. That is the energy is needed to break bonds. Next MCQ. What happens when molecules <coughs> Molecules, what happens when molecules collide with less than the activation energy needed for the photochemical reaction? It is a MCQ on photochemical reaction. Option A, they stick together but do not react. They react but more slowly. They do not react, they simply bounce off each other. Option D, they react in if bonds are arranged in the correct orientation. Option C is correct one. That is the, they do not react. They simply bounce off each other. When it is happening so, whenever the molecules are colliding with each other, with each other, with the less energy than that of the activation energy. Activation energy is a energy, minimum amount of energy referred to react the reactants for the formation of product. That a minimum amount of energy to react the reactants or to overcome the obstacle of the react reaction, that minimum amount of energy is called the activation energy. And whenever the molecules are colliding with each other, with the less than that activation energy, then they do not react. They simply bounce off each other and hence the option C is correct one. Next option, A plus B plus C, next MCQ question, that is A plus B plus C giving product are dash dash reactions. Option A, trimolar molecular, option B, unimolecular, option C, bimolecular, option D, tetramolecular, option A is correct one, being there are three molecules which are taking part in the given reaction and hence it is called the trimolecular reactions. This is regarding the multiple choice questions on the paper number 9 from the syllabus of Swami Ramanandri of Marathana University Nandir for the class BSA second year. It is useful for the examination. So, best of luck Thank you.